the eighth program is to uh, write a program to count the number of ones and zeros of in two consecutive memory locations okay so in two consecutive memory locations two numbers will be stored and the numbers which we are taking are uh, three and two okay so i'll show you here these are the numbers which are taking three and two in binary it is uh, one one and it is one zero so total number of uh, ones are three here means total one two three and total number of zeros are 64 minus 3 which is 61 so what we are doing is we will be storing these two numbers in two consecutive memory locations and then counting the number of zeros and the ones in uh, both of these numbers so um, we will be using some registers here r1 for count uh, keeping the count of number of ones and r2 for uh, keeping the um, R2 for keeping the count of number of zeros and R3 for the number of data, which means uh, two numbers so will be storing in R3 two and address of the data means where this number is stored and where this number is stored. This address is uh, if it is 400, we'll be storing here 400. Okay, and R5 will keep the 32 bit counts because in each iteration we'll be checking each bit. Okay, so it will be R5 will be 32, then 31, 30, 29, and so on until R5 reaches zero, it will indicate that this number is checked. And R6 means it uh, stores the rotate right value. Um, let me give you an explanation of what is uh, rotate right. Rotate right means uh, suppose that this is the number here. If you rotate right, what happens is the last bit here, okay, one, this will go to this position. So the number will be starting from here, one, zero, 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 and so on, okay, and one will be here. That is known as rotate right. And uh, in addition to that, what happens is the last bit which is being sent here is also copied and sent to carry flag, okay. So if uh, so the digit uh, which we are checking here if it is one at that time it will be uh, it will make the carry flag one okay so the number uh, if it is one here it will go to uh, carry flag also it will go to this position also okay so what will be doing that for we will be looking in the program okay so r6 will just store the rotate right value means if uh, one goes here the new value will be one zero zero and at last one so that number will be stored in r6 okay in the next iteration the second one will also go here so it will be one one zero 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 till here okay so that will be stored here so uh, by using this uh, how can we count the number of ones and zeros we'll be looking at the program from the beginning okay so here's the program area one zeros code read only and entry the program is starting from here move r1 zero so initially r1 will be zero uh, the number of ones are zero and r2 will also be zero then r3 move into r3 two y2 uh, it's the number of data which means uh, which means we are uh, using two numbers so r3 will be two okay then uh, load into r4 value what is value value is defined as dcd 0x3 and 0x2 these are the two numbers uh, which you have to calculate for 0x3 and 0x2 and what is dcd dcd means store in consecutive memory locations okay so in uh, this is the address of uh, the value 040 so see here 3 is stored here and 2 is stored here all right so this is the uh, 040 and in 044 2 is stored okay then uh, what will be stored in um, r4 in r4 the uh, address will be stored 040 okay so let's uh, run the program and see here see here in r4 it is stored as uh, 040 okay and r3 is 2 and rest of the values are 0 now move into r5 32 32 means um, in uh, hexadecimal it will be 20 so 20 will be stored in um, r5 that is nothing but that's nothing but uh, this one okay so here 32 will be stored okay let's uh, make that change all right uh, r5 is 32 here and then what we'll be doing is we'll be loading into r6 what is pointed by r4 r4 is pointing to 3 okay see here r4 is uh, 40 so that's pointing to 3 so in r6 this uh, this uh, um, this number will be stored okay 3 and also the increment will happen with 4 okay means r4 will be pointing to 4 4 now so let's update that value all right now r4 is 4 and in r6 the value is 3 okay now our next step is um, move into r6 see move s s is used s means status flag update in our case the status flag uh, the status flag which is uh, getting updated is um, carry flag okay so this flag will be updated if you don't use this uh, if you just write mov at that time uh, it won't um, update the carry flag okay so what we are doing r6 rotate right by one okay so what happens is it will rotate right uh, this whole number will be rotated right by one okay so the new number will be this one will come here so one will be here and this number will be this much okay so that uh, this number or whatever the value is in uh, hexadecimal that will be stored in r6 okay so 
that will be stored um, means uh, let's find out what's the value here so this is the number 800001 so it's a uh, very big number because it's starting from one here but uh, uh, what we are concerned about is the one will be transferred to carry flag and then it will be uh, and then based on this we'll make a decision if uh, we have to uh, branch on high or not okay see here if carry flag is one at last bit was one uh, in this case so that was transferred to here also and here also if it's uh, transferred to here that means carry flag is high what happens when carry flag is high uh, we are using bhi bhi means uh, bhi means branch on high if carry flag is high then branch branch on where branch on ones what does ones do it will add r1 with one so r1's value will be incremented see here r1 was zero now r1 will become one okay because what we have encountered the digit is one so the counter for one should increment okay that's uh, what will happen here see here it uh, branch to this one this um, this line of code this line of code incremented one okay then we'll move on to the next line subtract r5 with one so r5 will be decremented by one so r5 is now so r5 is now uh, 31 okay because uh, one bit is already checked then will uh, branch if not equal if um, r5 is not equal to 0 will uh, move to loop 0 loop 0 will start from here move uh, move as r6 rotate right by 1 so again the uh, number which is uh, ending with 001 will be uh, rotated right so 1 will go here as well as in the carry flag so carry flag will become high and branch on high so it will branch on high and then r1 will be incremented by 1 so r1's value will be 2 okay so r1 will be 2 now then subtract r5 from 1 so r5 will become 30 okay this will become 30 and then uh, the new number is ending with 0 0 okay then this will be checked then we'll rotate the number so 0 will be uh, going to here so the number which is starting from here is 0 1 1 and then carry flag also it will become 0 okay because the last digit was 0 okay then uh, carry flag is zero that means uh, branch on high now carry flag is not high so what it will do it will not branch if it does not branch then what will happen see here it will add r2 with one what is r2 r2 is the counter for zeros since the digit encountered is zero r2's increment should happen so r2 will become one all right so then what will do will branch to loop one loop one is nothing but this code okay subtract r5 uh, so the thing uh, that's happening here is it will uh, skip this part of code okay then r5 will become um, r5 minus 1 which is 29 now so 29 bits are remaining to be checked and this is what happens here if uh, it will be moved uh, see the steps happening here is move r6 uh, means uh, r6 will be rotated uh, right by ones so the last digit will be gone to carry flag it will be either high or low based on that if it is high it will branch to ones it will increment this okay and if it is uh, not high it will increment r2 okay and it will uh, finally branch to loop one which is subtract r5 so till r5 becomes zero it will be done and after r5 becomes zero this will be executed subtract r3 from one okay so r3 uh, what does r3 have r3 has the number of data when r5 becomes zero means this uh, this is uh, over this number is over after that uh, r3 will become one and the same thing will happen for um next loop uh, branch if not equal if r3 is not equal to 0 means the number is still remaining to be checked so uh, branch to loop 2 branch to loop 2 loop 2 will initialize r3 r5 as 32 and then um, the same thing will happen again okay so this is all what you have to show in this program okay